what are the hottest cities right now for social circle game or just meeting women in general? Yeah, it's funny because like to me, social circle uh, is just a way like I, I think a lot of guys use social circle um, and a lot of guys who've learned from me that now teach social circle. I think a lot of them use social circle as a way to avoid approaching. I think a lot of them use social circle as a way to connecting with lots of men uh, rather than actually and to kind of avoid cold approach. What a lot of I, there's always kind of like this debate when people talk about social circle. It's like cold approach versus social circle and they kind of pit it against each other. Um, I cold approach to build my social circle and I use social circle as just kind of this meta frame for life. I really don't think that there's a, you know, versus kind of situation in terms of the cities. Um, the best cities in the world for a single male to meet women are New York, Miami, London, uh, Dubai, uh, New York, Miami, London, Dubai. Um, that's those are pretty much the only cities I would actually live in. They're the only cities I really would live in. Then you have the secondary cities, which are L.A., Scottsdale, uh, Dallas, Atlanta. Uh, those are the the next group of cities that I would live in. So I, I take guys who let's have a doctor client who can uh, make a much higher income in Dallas or Atlanta or Scottsdale. You can absolutely crush it and do very well with women in one of those cities. But I'd only recommend those cities if your business, if your um, you know, your work life puts you in one of those cities. If I lived in Europe, the only city I would live in is London. Um, now, let's say you are an e-commerce entrepreneur and you want to do the uh, the Eastern Europe strategy. I have a lot of clients in Poland, um, Warsaw. I have a handful in Romania. Um, there's a few places like that. Um, the places I don't recommend are the Colombias, the Thailands, you know, um, I, I really am not a bit, to, I mean, I live in New York because I, I live in a building and I can see somebody living on a much higher building than me. And I, there's always a guy who has a, uh, who's hanging around women that are more attractive, you know, than you. So for that, that matter, it's just very motivational. It's very inspirational. I can walk a mile in any direction and be surrounded by, um, extremely inspirational, successful men, extremely attractive women. The most attractive actresses and models in the world are within walking distance of me right now. You know, if I was uh, if I went dead broke tomorrow, I would still live in New York because I just find that this is the best, most inspiring city for the come up. Um, you know, it is more expensive, but at the same time, uh, I find that, you know, for, for example, I think every man should live in the most expensive high rise that he can live in, because if you can't network in that, I mean, it's the easiest networking mastermind you can live in to, to I mean, when I lived in Vegas, I lived in the most expensive high rise in Vegas now. Back then, it was Vegas was much cheaper, so it made a little more sense to live in Vegas. Um, but I mean, the average car in in our valet was a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, things like that. So every neighbor of mine, every friend of mine, was extremely successful. So you get to learn from the people in your building. You get to actually connect with them. Whereas if you, let's say, you're making you know three to ten grand a month with your e-commerce business or off Amazon or whatever, and you move to Colombia or Thailand or any of these places, you're going to get very average women, and you're ne there's no never really any push to try to increase your life or try to push a little bit further because you're much more comfortable to me those are places you go when you're much older and you're just very much more settled and established other than that again dubai is much more affordable than people people realize um you know if i was if this was you know if i was 10 years younger um i would either live in miami or dubai um i just i love new york i'm in miami you know every month um i'm in london often to me these are the cities to be in um, and then also, I actually highly recommend the sleeper cities. The sleeper cities for me are DC and San Francisco. Um, those are two cities that you have incredibly beautiful women, access to incredibly intelligent men, great business opportunities, but there's no nightlife. So you have to meet these women in different ways. But any city that's as high end of a city as that, um, you can do very well. So again, I, it's New York, it's London, it's Dubai, Miami. Uh, I would only live in those cities. But then there's Dallas, Atlanta, Scottsdale, which are phenomenal. Um, LA is great if you're 45 and rich and married. Um, you know, other than that, there's no re reason to live in LA. Um, Vegas is great, but all the women are much older. Um, there's a lot of plastic surgery. It's very corporate. You know, um, I used to live in a penthouse in Vegas. Shaq was my next door neighbor, and I lived there for five grand a month. You know, now Vegas is, you know, with all the sports teams coming to Vegas, Vegas is much more of a normal city. So for me, um, you know, I don't even put Vegas on the list. Scottsdale, if you're going to do Vegas, you might as well do LA or Scottsdale, in my opinion. Um, Scottsdale is a very underrated city. 
Um, the Scottsdale is incredible. Um, I don't, uh, I love going to Mexico, but I wouldn't really recommend living in Mexico. Um, for that reason, those are pretty much the cities that I, I recommend.